Whoa. All right. Hello, guys. On this rainy day, I am in the car again. And today I'm back with another story. Yes, y'all liked the last one. So I thought, why not make another one? Um, today's story will be on something that happened over the weekend. And that is getting threatened. Well, actually, getting threatened is not something new. I've been threatened over Christmas, too. Wow, that actually rhymed. <laughs> so we can only, we can hope this light doesn't, we can hope this light does not turn off. Because I need this light for the video. It does turn off, I have to go outside and uh, manually uh, turn that light on. It's a motion light, so... Getting threatened. One of the worst things you want in your life, and it can be scary. Okay, here's the story of how it all happened. So, it was a, it was around Christmas time, a couple days after Christmas. I was in this group chat. And at the time, me and this girl, Ava, were sort of starting to lose a connection. Okay? She was behaving really off, if you know what I mean. Like, when I asked her for hugs, she would usually just say, Sure, Vince, I'd love one. So, you know, the Riz the Rizzly boy at the time, which I'm not I'm not really that Rizzly, actually. Not really that Rizzly anymore, if you really think about it. I mean you haven't seen much girls being posted on my Insta. What do you expect? Well, I got my phone shit I got my phone stolen at homecoming. <clears throat> so, um, me and Ava were starting to lose a connection, and honest, and like, I knew because of how she was behaving in the group chat, and how she was behaving around me, um, I think at the time she was actually getting a boyfriend, so, yeah, that could also be a reason why that people be off, because, you know, some girls with boyfriends, like, you know when the guy texts you on her f on her account, and she's like, "Hey, this is her boyfriend. Leave leave her the fuck alone." So yeah, usually I just like leave them people alone. Honestly, I mean, never really talk to girls with boyfriends. So, um, it was the meetup. I met up with Elliot this day, and um. Uh, me and Elliot, we went to Chick-fil-A. We went to Chick-fil-A, and we got fries, drink, and chicken nuggets. We ate them up. And then we went, and then we went back home. And then, uh, it was right before the test, I decided to record a video of me littering. And Ava took it like it was the end of the world. I was like, what? And she and I saw what she said in that group chat. I was like, pick that shit up, Vince. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, bitch. Pick up that cup that you fucking littered. And people were like, don't disrespect Chick-fil-A like that. And I was like, bitch, it's just a cup. I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do about it? And then Ava decided to say, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. She literally said that, no hesitation. I was like, how the fuck can you threaten someone? Like, you gotta be insane to do that. Like, when people murder people, like, they gotta be mentally insane to do that. Oh, yeah, speaking of murders, uh, yeah, there was a shootout at Chick-fil-A on Saturday. That was crazy. I mean, I didn't see it, honestly, but, like, that would have been crazy to watch, honestly. Yeah, literally someone got, like, shot in the head. Now, we're going to talk about the story that the school took action on. So, um, it was Saturday, right? Um, uh, I was looking for people to hang out with. And I called her boyfriend a druggie because, honestly, he vapes. Like, honestly, what girl wants to date a man that vapes? Like, seriously. Like, you got you gotta be insane for that shit. Like, 
do you like men that vape? Like, you're crazy. So, um, I call this guy that vapes a druggie. And he was like, don't talk shit on me, G. And then Ava literally... <coughs> <coughs> uh, she literally threatened to kill me again. But this time, she went really far. Saying, I'm gonna kill you, Vince. I swear. And, I, and then she literally said, she's pulling up. She made the threat to pull up on me. She made the threat to burn my house down. She made the threat to even kill my dog. Like, no. You're fucking insane for that shit. Like, how the fuck do you threaten to kill someone along with their dog? Like, what? Like, girl, you need serious help. Like, you're fucking insane to literally try to kill my dog. Like, no one talks shit on my dog. Like, if you talk shit on my dog, I swear. Like, that shit's over for you. Oh, God, it is. So, yeah. She literally threatens to kill my dog. And I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck do you say that shit? Like, you're fucking crazy. So, I took screenshots of the group chat. And then this is like, this is why no one hangs out with you because you're a loser. Like, shut the fuck up. You're gay and you're dating a girl. I mean, honestly, this guy is gay and he's dating a girl. Like, how the fuck do you be gay and date? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, honestly, I was like, wow. And that time, my anxiety was high as fuck. Like, my anxiety, bro, was, like, through the fucking roof that night. <clears throat> like, I swear, I was on a fucking call, and I couldn't even speak for an hour due to how much my anxiety was. So, I started drinking. Yeah, I literally, it was so fucking bad that I literally started drinking. Like... It was stressful as fuck, like, yeah, and then, like, uh, like, that day, I, and that, uh, that, a day later, I got sick from that shit, and now I hear him, coughing, oh, yeah, also, during Christmas, Ava literally forced me to rate her, like, okay, forcing someone to rate you is, like, crazy, like, Honestly, I am a kind-hearted person, and I don't want to rate people, especially in front of other people, like, like, honestly, I just threw out a number, and she didn't like that shit. She was like, that's it, Vince. I'm removing your ass. So, um, uh, a couple days later, um, uh, the screenshots went around the school, and apparently, uh, the counselor, school counselor, found out about it. <coughs> so, <coughs> so, admin was notified. And at 1.30 p.m., I got a text from Ava saying, Vince, did you set, oh, light went out. But honestly, like, um, around 1.30, I got a text from Ava saying, um, I've been called to the office. Did she do something? I was like, no. I didn't do shit. That was the counselor that did that shit. And she was like, all right, bro. And then, um, yeah, so she got sent to the office and she was all pissed at me and shit. Um, she literally said I was joking about threatening you. Like, how the fuck do you joke about threatening? <laughs> like, honestly, how the fuck do you joke about threatening someone? Like, that's just crazy. Never joke about threatening. <clears throat> okay, that's like making a false police report and having law enforcement show up at the scene. And, um, yeah.
So the office made Ava apologize to me, which I bet she didn't want to do, but. So, yeah, she apologized, and I was like, I'm sorry, too. Next time, we got to think before you speak. Like, honestly, don't threaten people, okay? People can take threats very serious. Like, all schools take school th shooter threats serious, bomb threats serious, and fires, fire drills serious. All right? So, what is the moral of the story here? Well, when the NX better for me, that's the moral of the story, babe. Moral of the story is think before you speak. Think before you speak. All right? <clears throat> when we're angry, we tend to not think before we speak. That can cause that can cause people to threaten people. So, yeah. So, she apologized to me saying, "Hey, I'm sorry. You might you you took this threat you, you took it serious. Like, you threatened to harm my dog. You think I'm, and like, honestly, I said, I forgive you because there's a place in my heart for her. I mean, honestly, there's a place in my heart for Ava because of our old memories together. And sometimes the old memories can just make us feel good that we have to give him another chance. So, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go, probably go run and get some McDonald's for my fat ass. I'm not fat, actually. I lost, like, two pounds when I was sick. Lol. So, yeah. Um, anyways, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post, turn on the post notifications so you get notified when I post another video. Anyways, I'm out.